it's about against mga types of problems that you encounter in exams. So medyo mas uh, kung mag-targeted tayo yung purpose natin ngayon. So kung mag-exam kayo for aptitude tests na may math, you can expect maybe one or two questions na about geometry. So if you don't want to miss out on those questions, you have to uh, prepare yourself and of course listen in din sa ating conversation ngayon. Erin, perimeter tayo. Let me just share my screen. A quick overview of the things we already talked about. Napag-usapan na natin before yung difference nila. So again, ang area, we use the color uh, blue for that. It is the spread sa loob. Okay? So again, flat surface sa loob, yan ang area. Ang perimeter, much like the fencing or the bakod, is yung nasa paligid niya. Okay, so yun yung unang pagkakaiba niya. Kaya ang units nito ay, ang perimeter usually is just the unit, tapos ang area is in the square unit, or unit squared. Okay, so isa sa mga pinakamalaking telltale signs na ang pinagkaiba ng area at saka ng perimeter. Okay? Ayan, so yeah, online na daw ang exam ng LAE. So it's actually, it's going to pose a new set of Challenges kapag online yung exam, you have to have your scratch paper ready, I guess. Uh, but let me know about your experience and any information that you have. But again, generally, uh, the I would say the English and math videos that we have can help you with the lie. Kasi yun yung aking, no, nakapasa naman tayo ng lie. So <laughs> at least my experience ako, I can really tell you that um, those are the types of questions that you can expect. Nagugulat yung iba sa lie kasi maraming math. Um, or bakit may math kasi nakalimutan na. Kaya nung batch namin specifically, ang daming mga galing sa, sa STEM courses na nakapasok sa UP Law. Um, and kumbaga halos napantayan din namin yung mga nasa Polsai. Kasi usually di ba ang idea kapag maglolo, Polsai, legal management yung background. Pero meron sa, sa block namin, for example, maraming, may, I, I think tatlo kaming psych ang background. Kasi nga sa psych may, may stat kami at may math may mga galing engineering. So, yun. Okay? Game. So, uh, formulas lang tayo, simple formulas. Again, there are more shapes, more formulas. But for today, we're going to focus on word problems. Pero level up na to, ha? So, again, last week, meron tayong simple word problems lang. Like, if this is the length, this is the width, what is the area, what is the perimeter. Now, we're going to level things up. Kukuha tayo ng styles or discard eh, kung paano masasagot kung kulang-kulang yung information na binigay. So again, mishmash na to nung ating discarte at saka algebra. Kasi gagamit din tayo ng algebra dito. Okay? So para sa mga medyo malolost ng kaunti mamaya, don't worry, kompleto rin tayo when it comes to finding your ex. Hindi yung ex ninyo sa love life, pero meron tayong um, playlist find, on finding your ex and finding x and y sa YouTube Pwede niyong balikan yung rules sa equalities dyan. Okay? Now, game. Let's start with the first question. Now, I know medyo haba yung tanong, pero it's actually more on the basic side of things. Ang importante dito is analysis. Lakihan natin ng konti yung aking uh, presentation para mabasa ninyo kasi maliit yung ating problem. Ayan. Sige, yan. Masahin ko muna a rectangular park with sides measuring 20 meters and 15 meters is scheduled for improvement. They plan to build a fence around the entire park. How much fencing material do they need to purchase? Yeah, they also want to cover it with synthetic grass. If there is a fountain with a radius of 5 meters in the middle of the park, how much grass do they need? Okay, so again, this is the type of question you can expect in exams usually. Bakit? Kasi layered na siya. Okay, layered siya. But the, the things that we talked about before still remain na true. What we have to do first is to draw the entire thing. So whatever information that we had from the question, idodraw muna natin. Ang sabi may rectangular park daw. So ibig sabihin, idodraw ko muna yung park. Rectangular siya. Yan. Pwede na yan. Okay? So it's a rectangular park. Tapos ang sides niya daw, binigay naman yung measurement. The sides measure 20 meters. So, yun yung mas mahabang side. So, 20 meters. Again, hindi accurate yung ano natin, ha? Yung dimensions natin. Ano lang yan, rough lang na sketch. 20 meters by 15 
meters. Kasi mga kamamaya may magko-comment, hindi po ganyan kasi malapit naman yung 50 meters sa 20 meters. Okay? Ano na yan? Pag nag-e-exam kayo, yeah, those are the types of the type of nuances that you need to neglect. Kasi pag nagmamadali ka, basta may shape dyan, okay na yun. Okay? Pero ang importante, that is what it looks like. Tapos, they plan to build a fence around the entire park. Yun yung first question. Kasi dala yung question natin. We have this. Fencing material, that's the first question. And then, yung second question natin is, how much grass do they need? So, doon muna tayo sa fencing material. Now, sabi natin before, di ba, kapag perimeter, that is the fence. So, perimeter, fence. Ibig sabihin, ang una natin kailangan hanapin is the perimeter of the... Yan. Hanapin lang muna natin yung perimeter of the rectangle. Okay? So, the perimeter of the rectangle, ang formula natin is twice the length plus twice the width. Okay? Now, kung kailangan ng solution, kunyari lang ha, kung ito ay sa, sa exam na binigay ng teacher na nire-require kayo na magkaroon solution, you will need to solve through this. So, I will show you how to do it. But of course, kung kayo ay nagmamadali, kasi exam lang naman ito na may time limit, hindi nyo na kailangan isulat yung buong solution. Pero isusulat ko para may visual representation tayo. Okay? So, we have the perimeter of the rectangle twice the length is 20 meters plus twice the width which is 15 meters. Hindi ko na nalagay yung unit kasi hindi cash the space. Pero again, meron na mga sumasagot sa comments. Ayan, although medyo may pagkakaiba ng sagot. We have here 2 times 20 which is 40 plus 2 times 15 which is 30. So the perimeter of the rectangle or the park is 70 meters. Okay? So, yung sagot sa unang tanong, uh, may sagot sa tanong kung bakit mahalaga. Okay? So, 70 meters yung, yung sagot sa how much fencing material do they need to purchase. Ibig sabihin, 20 meters na haba. Minimum yun ha. Siyempre, may mga putol-putol pa yan. 70 meters, tandaan ng unit, 70 meters na fencing material. Kapag nag-exam din kayo sa teacher ninyo, sa school, sa modules, huwag kakalimutan ng units kasi may mga strict na teacher, I've had those, na kapag walang unit, mali yung sagot. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung meters. Yan, may tanong si Yul sa now nakuha yung 2, nasa formula lang talaga yan. Okay? Kasi, ang idea is, and again, I will show you this, kapag wala namang requirement ng solution, ganito lang. If you're going to look for the perimeter of the rectangle, fill in all the information. Kung 20 yung side na yun, pantay naman yan, 20 rin ito. Kung 15 yun, may sabihin 15 din ito. Tapos i-add mo lang sila lahat. So if you notice, again, this is also the answer to your question, Yules, dalawang 20, 40, dalawang 15, 30. So the answer is still 70 meters. Okay? So again, tapos na tayo dun sa unang tanong. Ang question na ngayon, yung pangalawa. Paano yung pangalawa? Sabi, they also want to cover it with synthetic grass. Okay? So, pupunoin daw ng synthetic grass. Now, pag sinabi natin synthetic grass, hindi naman pwede na yung gilid lang ang lalagyan natin ng damo. ba? Kapag itong ating area na ito, okay, ay nilagyan natin ng damo, dapat yung nasa loob. Tama? Yung shaded region, sa labas na yan, eh sa loob niyan, yan yung magkakaroon ng grass. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, area question yung ating second problem. Kasi usually, dun muna nagkakagulo eh. No? Hindi alam kung area o perimeter ba ang hinahanap. So, kung area ang hinahanap, ang mga given na natin, it's the same rectangular part. Kaya lang daw, there's a fountain, sabi na, if there's a fountain with a radius of 5 meters in the middle of the park. So, anong gagawin natin next? Ang gagawin natin is, magdodraw tayo ngayon ng fountain. Okay? Now, saan yung fountain? The fountain is in the middle of the park. So, ganito siya. At ang radius niya ay 5 meters. So, ano mangyayari nito? Tanong, kung kayo ba ay magtatayo ng, ay maglalagay ng grass doon sa, doon sa uh, park, tapos may fountain sa gitna, lalagyan mo ba ng damo yun? Okay, ito yung mga questions that will arise doon sa ganitong klaseng tanong sa mga exams. Kasi yung iba, ang ginagawa, kinukuha lang yung figures. Diba? Kung wala nang kuha na shapes, i-add lang, ganun, tapos tapos ka na. But really, that isn't like that. You have to analyze the problem. Okay? So, isipin maigi, kaya bawal lang kabisote. Okay? 
kung merong fountain sa gitna na ang measurement ay 5 meters, lalagyan ko ba yan ng damo? Okay? Lalagyan ko ba ng damo yung fountain? Nakakita na ba kayo ng fountain na may damo? Okay? Siyempre, hindi. Tama? Kasi simento yung fountain. So, anong mangyayari dyan? Ang mangyayari dyan would be, ang lalagyan ko lang ng damo is yung space around the fountain. So, again, itong part na to, hindi ko kailangan lagyan ng damo. Bakit? Kasi fountain yan eh. Wala namang damo yung fountain. Tama? So, of course, in, again ha, it's all about that. You have to understand the problem. Okay? So, yan. Shishidan ko lang para lang may space tayo tsaka para mas visual sa inyo. So, anong problema to? Nagkaroon na tayo ng change. Hindi na to basta area problem. This is the area of the shaded region, which we talked about again uh, last week and in the YouTube video series. So, if you want to check that out, nandun din yun. Meron tayong separate video for that. Yung, ir yung irregular polygons, irregular shapes, and of course, yung shaded region. So, itong bilog na ngayon na fountain na ito, na ang measurement, again, sabi kanina is, ang radius daw is 5 meters, hindi siya lalagyan ng damo. So, ano nang gagawin natin ngayon? Kukunin natin yung area, okay, yung area nung rectangle, Tapos, para makuha natin yung area ng grass, ibabawas natin sa kanya yung area ng fountain. And that would be the area na may grass. Okay? So, again ha, this is the type of question that you will encounter in exams. So, again, ganyan yung formula natin. So, simulan natin sa area muna ng rectangle. Ano, ano ba ang area ng rectangle? The formula is length times width. Okay? Tapos, ibabawas natin yung area ng Circle, which is pi r squared. Okay? To find yung area nung grass. Okay? So, ang length times width is going to be uh, 20 times 15 minus, tapos yung pi r squared, um, nilalagay ko na lang siya magkasama ha. Pwede nyo rin isolve na separate. So, area of the rectangle, area of the circle, is combined later. Kaya lang in the interest of time at saka dahil malisikip yung ating uh, kung baga, board right now, pagsamahin na natin. So, 20 times 15 is going to give us 200 plus half of 200. So, that is 300. Okay. Minus, ang pi r squared, ang pi is 3.14. Tapos, radius is 5 times 5 squared. Now, again, uh, discuss din natin dun sa basics natin, dun sa formula. Kapag pi r squared, sinasquare muna bago may multiply sa 3.14. So, 5 squared is 25. So, you have 3.14 times 25 is equal to the area of the grass. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung ating, again, kung kailangan ninyo ng solution dahil nahanap ng teacher, this is the way to go. Next natin gagawin would just be to subtract these things. So now you have 300 minus 3.14 times 25. Okay? So yung 3.14 times 25, ita times 2 nyo lang yung 25, tapos yung 0.14 ta times, uh, times 25 nyo rin. So 3.14 times 25 is 78.5 is equal to the area of the grass. Ibabawas lang natin siya dun sa 300 kanina. Okay, the answer is 221.5 meters squared. Okay, so yan. May mga tama tayo sa comment section. Kung meron kayong mga differential lang sa, sa decimal dahil ang ginamit ninyo ay 3.1416 instead of 3.14. These are little things. Pag nasa exam na kayo, you would see naman. Okay, kung ang ginamit ay one decimal place lang or two decimal places para mas swak ninyo yung sagot. But ang importante is 2 to 1. Usually naman yan, unless upkat, sa upkat kasi medyo dikit-dikit yung mga options, um, dun na papasok yung, at titignan nyo lang yung first few digits or actually usually yun yung sagot. Okay? So yan yung ating first problem. Medyo ano, simple lang. Kayang-kaya niyo yan actually if you know your fundamentals and if you're willing to really analyze the question. So again, intindihin mabuti yung tanong. First trick is to draw all the information. Second reminder, kung hindi naiintindihan yung tanong kasi English, translate it into your mother tongue. 
Kaya very important sa word problems yung reading comprehension. So, kung tatagalugin ko yung exam, for example, or uh, i-ano ko siya, i-gagawin ko siyang Cebuano, or kung ano yung language nyo, hiligay nun, or anything, uh, try to understand. Kasi pag tinranslate natin siya, naiintindihan natin kung ano yung nahanap. Okay, so again, that's the first question. Pero hindi tayo matatapos dyan, hindi lang to lecture, may halo din tong interaction. So, ang gagawin natin would be, I will ask you to solve the next problem. It's a bit like yung first problem natin. You're going to employ the same set of skills, sabihin na nga natin sa, sa gaya ng sinasabi dun sa Taken na movie, no? Pero you're going to have a different problem. So, ang gagawin nyo, you can whip out your pen and paper or gusto nyo isolve sa phone or kahit mentally man yan. Ang importante is, this is a safe space to learn. So, again ha, I will ask you kung ano yung sagot ninyo. Type it in the comment section. Kung mali, that's okay. Bawal pagtawanan yung mga classmates ninyo dito ha. Kasi we're all just trying our best. Alright? And if you're ready, ito yung ating tanong. Alright, napag-usapan na natin yung sagot sa tanong na ito. Yan. It's the same rectangular part. Napansin nyo ba? <laughs> same yung rectangular part na pinag-usapan natin kanina. Same din yung dimension nito. 20 meters by 15 meters. So, una natin gagawin is to draw the park. Okay? So, rectangular park. Yan. Hindi masyadong perfect. Hayaan na natin na ganyan. Okay? Meron tayong 20 meters by 15 meters na dimension. So, 20 meters, ito. Tapos ito naman daw ay 15 meters. Okay. Na ano yung sitwasyon ngayon? It's different than yung dati. Kasi ang sabi, they plan to build a walkway outside and around the entire park. Again, ha, this is the type of question you can expect sa mga exams. Kapag lumabas sa exam ninyo, sabihan ninyo ako. Okay? Hindi ganito ang dimensions, hindi ganito exactly ang wording, pero you need to understand the question. Okay? So sa labas daw, magkakaroon ng walkway. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Outside, the entire park, 2 meters wide yung walkway. Ibig sabihin, kung outside, i-extend natin to. So, magkakaroon ng extra na ganyan, 2 meters. Tapos saan? Around the entire park. Ibig sabihin, 2 meters dyan, may extra dito, 2 meters yan lahat. Around eh. Okay, around the entire walkway. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ng parang pathway, yan, alam niyo sa mga schools, di ba may mga ganyan, around the park. Okay? So, ganyan yung mangyayari dyan. Now, a common mistake here is sa isang side lang nilalagyan ng 2 meters. But hindi, kasi around eh. So, ibig sabihin nun, 2 meters dyan, meron din 2 meters dito, and, wait lang, 2 meters, 2 meters dyan, yan, all around. Now, ang next question is, Kailangan daw yung walkway makover ng cement tiles na tigwa 1 square meter each. Ang tanong, ilang tiles yung kailangan for that? Now, kung meron kayong kaunting creativity din, you would be able to draw this and count the tiles. Pero dahil nagmamadali tayo, again, nasa exam tayo, anong kailangan nating gawin? Ang kailangan nating gawin ngayon, if you think about it, is to look for the area of the shaded region. Ito. Ito ang shaded region ngayon, yung labas, yung walkway. May dalawang shapes dito. You have yung bigger rectangle, which is going to be this blue, yung blue na rectangle na yan, na ang measurement niya is hindi na 20 by 15. Gaano kahaba ito? Okay, ngayon. If you notice, sa drawing naman kitang-kita na rin, you have 15 meters here, 2 meters doon, 2 meters uli dito. So, ibig sabihin, itong side na to will measure 15 Plus 2 is 17, plus another 2, magiging 19 meters siya. Okay? 19 meters yung width ng bigger rectangle. Sa labas naman, ito sa kabilang side, you have this side right here, which is going to be our length. Meron kang 20 meters, 2 meters, plus another 2 meters here. So, ibig sabihin 20 plus 2 is 22, plus 2, 24. So, now you have 24 meters outside. Okay? Tapos ang hinahanap natin is this big rectangle minus yung area nito. Nitong smaller rectangle na ito. So ang formula natin would look like this. So the area of the bigger rectangle minus the area of the smaller rectangle is equal to give us the, it will give us the area of the walkway outside. Okay, so parang ganyan. 
Now, to solve that, kunin muna natin yung sa labas. Length times width lang din naman yan. So, ang length ng nito, nung bigger rectangle is 24 times 19 meters. Tapos, isusubtract natin yung area ng bigger, uh, ng smaller rectangle, which is, ano naman, length times width, 20 meters times 15 meters para makuha natin yung answer. Okay? So, 24 times 19, you have 240 minus 124 na lang. Minus isang 24 na lang. Okay? Or kung gusto nyo straight away, i-multiply pa rin. So, 24 times 19 is 456 minus yung 20 times 15, which is 300. Okay? So, minus 20 times 15, 300 is equal to, ilan yun? 156. Okay? So, 156 meters squared. Now, ang tanong, ang sabi kasi is that each cement tile daw, about cement tile is 1 meter, 1 square meter ang each piece. So, ilang square meters ito? 156. So, the answer is not 156 meters squared, ha? The answer is 156 pieces of cement tile. Okay? Pieces. Okay? Just in case. Kung ano naman, again, kung nasa school to, you have to be as specific as possible. Kasi ang tanong is not how many square meters, ang tanong is how many tiles. Okay, so again, doon ang papasok. Again, kung meron ka pang conversion ng units pa niyan kasi uh, half a square meter lang yung, yung, yung per tile, yung mga things like that, doon papasok. Now, yung mga nagkamali, a, a few of the times, uh, a few of the areas na posible kayong nagkamali would be kasi isang isang 2 meters lang ang nilagay. ba? So, ang nangyari, 17 by, 17 by 22 yung kanilang bigger rectangle. Kaya nga, importante for you to draw the entire thing. Okay. And if mamamaster niyan, yan, maintindihan niyong maigi, pag nang-encounter niyo sa exam, alam niyo yung plan of attack. Alam niyo yung gagawin niyo. Okay? Now, we are going to change things up a bit. Yan. Level up ng kaunti. We are going to answer a different type of question. Okay? This is the type of question naman na kailangan nating i-address. Ayan. What is the area of a rectangle with a perimeter of 90 meters if the length is twice the width? Okay, so may kasama na to na aspect ng algebra. Okay? Now, yung ganitong klaseng tanong, again, you could expect sa exams, college entrance exams, civil service exam, NAPOLCOM, PLMA, PMMA, whatever. Okay, maraming exams ang mga ganitong klaseng tanong. Simply because people would look at this and sasabihin, I don't know what to do or I don't know where to start. Tapos siniskip. Okay, so comment na lang yung mga nakarelate na dyan kapag exam Tapos skip, skip. When I first started teaching adult learners sa, sa exam prep, lagi nila sila sabi yun, na parang sa totoo lang, coach, siniskip ko lang lahat ng tanong. So skip lang daw na skip. Ang problema, pagkakaskip natin, di ba, maubos yung time natin na wala pa tayo nasasagutan. So what do we do sa ganitong klaseng question? Okay? Let me demonstrate, and mamaya I will leave you to answer a, a, a different question. Sabi dito, what is the area of a rectangle if uh, with a perimeter of 90 meters if the length is twice the width? Gawin natin question mark. Yan. Now, anong una natin gagawin? Much like yung before, di ba? Lagi natin dapat na i-draw muna. Ayan, sa civil service exam daw, sabi ni Maaga, Michelle J, yes. Or Michael J, yes. So again, if you master these things, that is how you do well then kahit pa paano sa exams. Kasi sa experience ko, ha, again, it's the same type of questions usually. Okay? Kaya ang problema pag hindi natin nakuha pa masyado sa una, mumultuhin niya tayo sa future. Kaya kailangan natin maintindihan eh. Okay? So, yan. If you have a rectangle like that, ang sabi, the area, yung area daw nung rectangle, Yan. Yan. Ang hinahanap. Ang alam lang natin is that the perimeter the perimeter is 90 meters and 
the length, which is this, is equal to twice the width. Ito naman yung width. Right? So, ang question would be, how do I solve it? How do I, uh, where do I start? So, we can start with kung ano yung given. Dahil binigay naman, nat, binigay naman sa atin kung ano yung perimeter, which is 90 meters, pwede natin i-reverse -re natin ngayon, parang ganun. Or kukunin natin yung measurement ng width at saka length from the formula ng perimeter. Ang formula ng perimeter kasi is, yan, lagyan natin na space dito. The, the formula of the perimeter ng rectangle is twice the length plus twice the width. Okay? Now, in this case, it's 90 meters. Now, ang sabi is that the, the length is twice the width. This is where, again, di ba, sasabing niyo sa inyo, di ba, may mas exam tayo. Ilang components yung meron? Tama? Ilang components yung meron tayo doon sa formula natin or sa problem natin? This is equation construction. If in case yung ninyo pa na panood yun, ipapakita ko rin sa inyo sa, sa screen, sa YouTube, para mahanap ninyo yung lesson. And flash na lang namin. Let me just go to youtube.com. Punta kayo sa search bar uli. Okay. Pupunta kayo sa search bar. Dito sa taas. Yan. Tapos itatype ninyo. Type nyo lang ha. Equation. Construction. Yan. Lumalabas naman na. Equation construction, team like ah. Ito yung video that I'm talking about. Yan. This is a fairly new video. Two years ago pa lang naman. Equation construction, watch this. Okay? Watch this video so you know how to kind of uh, start to understand kung nang hinahanap dun sa problem. Okay? So homework na lang. Hindi natin dadaanan. Let me just show you how we solve it doon sa problem itself. Sabi... The length is, pag sinabi natin is, ang ibig sabihin equal. So, length equals twice or two times the width. So, ibig sabihin nun, pwede ko isulat yung length as 2W or two times the width, which is W. So, instead of using L here, yung L, papalitan ko ng 2W. So, the, the uh, equation would be twice 2W plus 2 W. Okay? Nag-gets ba yun? Alright. So again ha, yung length natin, sinabistitute natin yung 2W. Kasi sabi, the length is twice the width. Tapos now we can solve using algebra. Okay? So 90 meters is equal to 4W plus 2W. Pinapakita ko lang sa inyo, baka hinahanap ng teacher yung solution ha. Tapos you have 6W. Kung nakalimutan na, paano naging 6W yung 4W plus 2W? Meron din tayong video when it comes to combining like terms. Nasa YouTube din yan. Okay? So, combining like terms, team like, uh, you can find it on YouTube. So, ang gagawin natin next is, i-divide natin both sides by 6. Kung hindi naintindihan ito, may video din tayo niyan. Again, finding X. Para matutunan natin yung mga techniques on, or mga rules when it comes to solving that. Okay? So, di-divide natin lahat by 6. Maka-cancel ito. Maiiwan na ngayon yung width. So, 90 divided by 6 na lang. Now, ilan yung 90 divided by 6? That is 15. So, alam na natin the width is 15. Now, how do we find the length? No? The length of the um, rectangle. Alam natin again that the length is twice the width. So, isa-substitute din natin ito. Diyan. So, the length is twice... 15 meters. So, ibig sabihin, the length is 30 meters. So, kompleto na tayo dun sa rectangle natin. Ang length natin, this right here is 30 meters. And yung width naman natin is going to give us 15 meters. At kapag meron na tayong kompletong measurement niyan, masasolve na natin yung ating area problem. Kasi the area of the rectangle is length times width or Length, this time, is 30 meters times 15 meters. So, multiply lang natin yan. The area is 30 times 15. So, 300 plus half of um, 300, which is 150, 450 meters squared. Okay? Meters squared, ha? Huwag kalimutan yung unit. Ayan. So, Lilia Roberto, meron po kayong review for Let's Hawaii. Hanapin niyo po lahat ng mga videos natin sa math. 
at saka sa language, good siya for gen ed. Sa let, gen ed. Hanggang gen ed lang po ha ako, wala tayong prof ed. Yun. Pero if you're looking for uh, a specific playlist, ayan, wala po akong specific playlist sa let, but again, all the videos will hopefully help you prepare. Okay? So, yan. Hanggang gen ed tayo. Kaya may, meron din tayong mga passers, ng, mga let passers. You've probably seen some of their comments or messages na nakatulong daw yung uh, uh, yung videos for their gen ed. And I'm grateful to be at least kahit pa mano part of their journey then as well. Okay? So, the answer is 450 meters. Ayan. Sabi ni Lyle, madali daw. Okay? So, now it's your turn. Next problem. Nag-warm up pa lang tayo. Okay, so solve na natin ito. Let's start with the shape muna. Much like kanina, it's a, it's a rectangle. So we have a rectangle. Nakihan na lang natin kasi para mas, mas visual. Yan, nalakihan ko. Okay. So we have a rectangle right there. Tapos, ang binigay is yung kanyang perimeter. So the perimeter of the rectangle is... 96 meters. Okay? Hindi natin alam. Ang hinahanap is the area. Okay? What is the area of a rectangle? Tapos, ang kanyang uh, length daw is thrice. No? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng thrice? Ang thrice is three times. Right? So, kanina twice lang. So, two times yon. Ngayon, thrice. Pasintabi sa mga once dyan. Okay? <laughs> so, anong gagawin natin next? We are going to look for the width and the length using yung formula, knowing na ang width, okay, kung ang width ay W, ang length is going to be thrice or is three times the W or three W. Okay? Yan. So kung isosolve na natin yung ating perimeter, 96 is equal to twice the length, which is going to be 3W ngayon. Okay? Tapos, plus twice the width. So, 96 is equal to, yan, lakihan natin para mas visual. You have 6W, kasi 2 times 3W, plus 2W, 96 is equal to 8W. Okay? Divide natin both sides by 8 para maiwan yung W sa isang side kasi kung ano yung nahanap, dapat iwan. Okay, 98 divided, eh, 96 divided by 8 is going to give us 12. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang width natin is 12. Okay, this is 12 meters. Now, kung 12 meters yung ating width at ang length natin is 3 times the width, gagawin lang natin, iti 3 times lang natin yung 12 to get the length which is 36 meters. So, ibig sabihin tong haba naman na ito, yan naman ay 36 meters. So, kung hinahanap natin yung area of the rectangle, what do we need to do? We're going to have to multiply the length times the width or, in this case, the length is 36 meters times the width, which is 12 meters. So, ang area ng rectangle na ito is just 36 times 12. May mga tama ang sagot sa ating chat box, 432 square meters. Ayan, so si Jessica is correct. Ayan, Colleen is correct. Kasi yung uh, meter squared, hindi niya kinalimutan yung 2, although hindi naka-elevate, that's okay. Nasa keyboard na yan eh. Christian Barogo is correct. Then congratulations sa inyong lahat. So pag nag-exam kayo, kahit anong exam man yan, kayo ay tatama na yan. Alright? Sa, sa ibang mga exams, ang ginagawa pa nila to trick you is nilalagay nila yung 432 meters sa option A. Okay? Tapos nasa option D yung 432 meters squared. Na bakit? Kasi pag careless kayo, masyashadean nyo yung A na mali ang unit. Samantalang ang tamang sagot ay yung option D. Yung iba rin kasi hindi alam na pwedeng isulat yun as square meters, SQM. Kaya ang sagot nila is A, mali yun. Kasi again, mali yung unit. Alright? So again, ingat kayo sa exams. Marami yung alam nila tama yung sagot nila, bakit, bakit mababa yung score. Usually, it's those little careless mistakes. And I know that kasi gawain ko rin yan dati. Kasi lagi ako nagmamadali kapag nag-exam, kaya hindi ko yan napupuna. So ingat kayo dun sa ganun. Okay? 
Now we're going to raise the bar. Ito yung next question natin. Kaya pa ba? Nandiyan pa ba si Enrique? Eh, si Enrico. <laughs> okay, masipag yan si Enrico. Kaya mention natin siya. Alright? Sabi dito, ito yung ating question. Enrico was offered two lots to buy at the same price. Yan. Yung iba mga piloso ba dyan, uunahan ko na kayo sa sabihin. Ah, depende kasi yan sa location. Yung mga ganun. Wag, bawal ha, kasi nasa ano to. Bawal mo na mamiloso po. Okay, so Enrico was offered two lots to buy at the same price. Lot A is a square with a perimeter of 36 dam. Ano yung dam? Ang dam is decameter. Okay, hindi decimeter ha. Decimeter is smaller than a meter. Ang decameter is 10 meters. So medyo malaki naman yung lupa. Now, ganito ang gagawin ha. Um, kung hindi, nakalimutan nyo na yung about units. Meron din tayong converting units. Let me just show you. Kasi yung iba baka maguluhan. Minsan din sa exams, lalo na kapag lae level exams, upcat level exams, yung mga medyo mas mahihirap na exams, iniiba pa nila yung unit. So kung gusto ninyo na balikan, meron din tayong series. Again, converting units. Ayan, converting units team like, ah. look for it in the search bar sa YouTube. Lalabas yung playlist. Ayan, so may converting na tayo units of time, length, weight, and everything else na I was able to think about, including currency. So yung mga nasa business math dyan, baka matulungan kayo nito. Nasa YouTube na po yan. Okay? So in case nakalimutan nyo yan, or gusto nyo balikan, yun lang. Reminder lang, bago natin isolve ito. Okay? So yun yung decameter. Alright? Now, so the next thing we're going to do is just to draw the shapes. Kasi meron kang square, meron kang rectangle. Ang tatanungin, ang tanong ngayon is anong gagaw anong gagawin ko yung paano ko ito sasagutin? Paano ko ito i-compare? So the first thing we're going to do is to draw the shapes. Meron siyang square, yun yung first shape, si lot A. Yan, forgive my my drawing. Yan. Kung mali square na lang, medyo rectangle siya no, pero sige. Try natin ulit. Yan. Yan, medyo mas square na siya kanina kaysa kanina. Meron tayong square, this is lot A. Tapos meron tayong lot B, which is a rectangle. Okay. So lot A, tsaka lot B. Tapos ang sabi, same price, pareho ang presyo. Pero ang tanong is, which one is bigger? Ibig sabihin kasi syempre mas sulit kapag mas malaki. Yun yung idea ha. Again ha, hindi natin factor kung corner lot yan or anything. Bawal ang piloso po muna. Pero straight area tayo. So ito ang mas malaki. Alam natin that yung, yung A, yung square, ang kanyang uh, perimeter, okay, the perimeter is 36 decameters. Okay? Yung lot B, ang sabi lang is, ang perimeter niya, okay, so lot B, ang perimeter naman niya, is 40 decameters. Now, ang common mistake dito is, ang mga ang tao, ang sasagot nila, okay, 40 yung lot B, mas malaki yun. Pero hindi, bakit? Kasi ang perimeter is yung bakod around it. Hindi yung lot area, which is more important here. Tama? So, anong gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin is to make sure that we know the area of both. How do we get to that? Now, ang alam natin, ang formula for the perimeter ng isang square is side times 4. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? I-add natin lahat ng 4 sides, that is the perimeter. So the perimeter of the square, which is equal to 36, yan, is the side times 4. So para malaman ko yung side ng area, uh, side ng square, which will help me find its area, i-divide ko muna to both sa 4. Yan. Okay, natin ng konti. Para makancel ko siya, tapos, ang magiging sagot ko dyan would be 36 divided by 4, which is 9. Okay? Kasi 9, 8, 8, 7, 36. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang side ng isang, ang isang side nitong square na to is 9 decameters. So, ano ang area niya ngayon? No, to solve for the area of the square, ang gagawin lang natin is side squared. So, 9 squared or 9 times 9. So, the answer here, ang area ng ating square is 81 dam or decameters 
squared. Okay? So, ito yung area nung square. Now, how do we find the area of the rectangle? Ang sabi dito sa ating problem is whose length is thrice its width. Much like yung ginawa natin kanina. So, the length daw, this, is thrice the width. Ito yung width. So, to find naman the measurements or dimensions ng ating, ng ating uh, rectangle, ang gagawin natin would be to substitute 40 dam is equal to ang formula twice uh, ng length plus twice ng width. So, twice 3W plus twice W. 40 is equal to 6W plus 2W or 40 is equal to 8W over, or divide natin both sides by 8. Maka-cancel ngayon itong 8 na to. 40 divided by 8 is going to give us 5. Okay, so 5 dam ang width. So 5 ito, 5 dam. At ang kanyang length, which is 3 times that, is 15 decameters. The question here would be, mas malaki ba yung area niyan? E ang area ng rectangle, okay, the area of a rectangle is length times width. So ang area niyan is length 15 times 5. So ang area ng rectangle, 15 times 5, ilan yan? 75. Dam squared. So, ang tanong na ngayon, kung ang area ng rectangle is 75 lang, at ang area ng square ay 81, ano ang mas malaki? Right? So, mas malaki pa rin yung square lot. So, the answer would be yung square. Lot or lot A. Okay? So again, kung nanguhula lang tayo or nagmamadali tayo, parang, ay, mas malaki kasi yung 40 kesa sa 36. So dapat ang sagot, lot B. But actually, the answer is lot A. Okay? So again, this is the type of question that you could expect sa mga exams. Ingat kayo. Okay? Now, para makita natin kung naintindihan or nagets nyo yan, your turn. Solve it and write it sa comment section. Okay, so solve na natin ha. Hindi ko na hihimayin yung solution like we did before. Let me show you how I do it kung nasa exam tayo. Ibig sabihin, nagmamadali tayo. So again, we have just the square and the rectangle. Okay, so meron tayo dito sabi, ang perimeter daw nung lot A na square is 80 meters. So, kung 80 meters ang perimeter niya, that would mean each side would be 20 meters. Alam ko lang yon kasi dinivide lang natin sa 4. Okay? Next, ang sabi, same daw ang perimeter nung lot B, which is a rectangle. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang perimeter is still 80 meters. Tapos, ang length is thrice its width. So, again, kung kailangan ko isolve ng my formula, twice the 3W plus to W, so that is 80, is equal to 8 W, divide both sides by 8, kakansa lang natin yan, so ang width natin is going to be yeah, ang width is 10 meter, 10 meters okay so kung 10 meters yung ating width thrice yung length, that would be 30 meters okay now, kukunin na natin yung area. Area is just 20 times 20. This is 400. Sa rectangle, that is 30 times 10. So, ang sagot nun ay 300 lang. 300 meters squared, 400 meters squared. So, anong mas bigger? The square lot or lot A. Okay? So, again, if you kind of know where to start or know the formulas, know the discarte kung saan ako dadaan para makuha ko yung area, para makuha ko yung sides, makuha ko yung, yung perimeter na kailangan ko. That is the secret when it comes to this type of problem. Okay? So ngayon, ili-level up natin. Let me give you a challenge question. So ito yung challenge question natin. Okay? I'm going to give you a bit of time to think about it. Okay? 
Tapos, i-apply lang natin. Hahalu-haluin natin lahat ng natutunan na natin about equalities, about combining like terms, about the formula ng shapes para makuha niyo yung sagot. Okay? Tapos isosolve natin sa natitirang oras natin bago tayo magpaalam. Okay? Challenge question and your timer starts now. Okay. So yes, yeah, solve na natin yung challenge question natin. Again, ano lang to ha? Pag nag entrance test, Usually. I wouldn't say sa civil service exam, it doesn't get this challenging naman pagdating sa civil service exam. But for UPCAT, ganun, classing level exam, uh, mga college entrance exams, you probably will encounter something like this. So the perimeter of this area is the same as that of a square. So ibig sabihin maliban dyan sa ating triangle na yan, meron tayong square. Okay, ang pangit ng square ko. Ayusin natin. Yan. So, meron tayong square na, okay, medyo square naman siya. So, yung perimeter daw nito, same as that of a square, hinahanap yung area of the square. How, where do we start? Ang una natin hahanapin is the perimeter of this triangle. Okay? So, to find the perimeter of the triangle, all we have to do is to add the side. So, A plus B plus C. I-add lang natin yan. So, kung i rewrite natin yan, the perimeter of the triangle is just 3A plus 3 plus 4A minus 1 plus A plus 2. Okay? So, i-add lang natin yan lahat. Combine like, like terms. Pagsasamasamahin lang natin. And again, may video tayo yan on YouTube. You can watch that na lang. Uh, adding and subtracting polynomials at saka combining like terms. Gagawin lang natin lahat ng A pagsasamasamahin natin. You have 3... 4, 7, plus 1, that is 8. So, perimeter is 8A. Tapos yung numbers, pagsasama-samahin din natin. You have 3 minus 1, so 2, plus another 2, that is 4. So, 8A plus 4 ang perimeter ng, uh, ng, ng ating uh, triangle. Okay. Na ang sabi, pareho daw siya dun sa perimeter ng square. So, the perimeter of the square is 8a plus 4. Now, to find the side of the square, ang gagawin lang natin is kukunin natin dito sa formula na to. Ang perimeter kasi ng square is 4, 4 times the side. Okay? So, kung 4 times the side ito, i-rewrite ko lang, 4s is equal to 8a plus 4. Kung hahanapin ko yung measurement ng isang side ng square, all I have to do is to divide both sides by 4. Okay? Maka-cancel ito. Maiwan yung side. Side is equal to 8a plus 4 divided by 4. Okay? Now, ang rules natin dyan, pwede ko naman yung i-divide or i-regroup sa 4. This can actually turn into 2a plus 1 times 4 is equal to 4, eh, divided by 4. So, maka-cancel ko rin yung 4 dito sa taas at 4 dito sa baba. So, ibig sabihin na, ang isang side is 2, yan, ang isang side is 2a plus 1. At now na alam na natin yan, we can now solve for the area of the square, which is side squared. The area of the square now becomes 2a plus 1 squared. Okay? 2a plus 1 squared or 2a plus 1 times 2a plus 1 kung kailangan sa options na naka-trinomial siya na, na form hindi lang yung squared if a foil method lang natin yan so first is 2a plus 2 uh, 2a times 2a is 4a squared outside that is 2a inside that's another 2a pero kung may special products kayo alam niyo na yan tapos plus 1 squared so, the answer is 4a squared plus 4a plus 1. Okay? So, yan yung ating expression ng area of the square. Alright? But again, if you know your special products, pa, bibilis pa kayo. Kung nakalimutan nyo na yung foil, meron tayo nyan. Multiplying binomials, nasa YouTube na lang din. So, again, thank you for joining me dito sa ating live ngayon. Um, quick little tayo ni Ate Laika before we end. And this is a bit of a challenge sa inyo rin. Test to best yourself. Anong ibig sabihin ng test to best yourself? Pagdating sa pag-aaral ng 
any concept. Sa simula, we start with the basics, right? Pero kaya ko pa to, madali pa to. Iangat natin yung difficulty. Medyo mahirap sa simula, pero kakayanin. Tapos, ingat natin yung difficulty. So, we have to keep testing ourselves to best ourselves. That is what we do. Test to best yourself. Hindi lang sa math, pati sa English, pati sa life, right? Di ba? You have to keep testing yourself to best yourself. Ibig sabihin, para malamangan mo yung sarili mo, para mag-improve ka. Alright, so thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you want to learn more, if you want to watch the other videos I'm going to be making, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Turn your notifications for all the updates that we have. Again, marami pa tayong pwedeng pag-usapan soon. And uh, thank you for joining the team. I know this community has been kind to me for the past six years now, and I'm so happy that I get to welcome you as part of this team as well. Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.